Tomo News presents Adorable Animals. Colorado Sheriff Meets Adorable Baby Owl. A video posted online by the Boulder County Sheriff's Office on Friday has gone viral, racking up more than 3 million views. Why? Thanks to this adorable baby owl sheriff's deputies encountered while driving near a campground on Thursday. Owls usually hunt at night, but on this occasion it was just standing there, right in the middle of the road, in broad daylight. Hi. In the video, a female deputy talks to the cute animal, which in return seems to answer by clicking at her. The little owl eventually flew away. Hi. China's rich are going nuts over these finger-sized monkeys. Thumb-sized pet monkeys are quickly becoming all the rage among China's wealthy in the year of the, uh, monkey. Known as pygmy marmosets, these mini primates hail from the western Amazon in South America. Someone posted a video to Chinese social media site Tutou claiming they're selling the monkeys. But how they got the mini monkeys into the country is anybody's guess. The price for one of these in China is reportedly around 30,000 yuan, or 4,600 US dollars. Which is close to what we found on this website, Pogi's Animal House, which sells marmosets for $4,900. The buying and selling of these monkeys is reportedly illegal in the PRC, not to mention cruel and inhumane. But it's not as if a silly thing like the law is going to stop China's rich from getting what they want, right? Meet the Toronto Zoo's newest and cutest inhabitant this baby polar bear cub. He was born on November 9th, 2013, and he will one day grow up to be an unstoppable killing machine. Oh, look at his little paws. The Toronto Zoo's mama bear, Aurora, gave birth to three baby bear cubs on the same day, each one pinker and blinder than the next. Although zookeepers said this cub initially exhibited signs of weakness, within 48 hours, his two brothers were dead, making this cute little guy the ultimate survivor. As is nature's way, this adorable ball of fluff will one day experience the insatiable urge to sink his fangs into a zoo handler's throat, rip out his esophagus, and spray red carnage all over the painted white fiberglass glaciers of his enclosure. Can you believe how cute his little button nose is? I just want to squeeze him. Polar bears are unique among land animals because they are the only species that will actively and deliberately hunt humans for food. In Norway, inhabitants of the snowy north live in constant fear that a polar bear will stalk them in the blinding snow, hold them down with one paw, and chew off their faces, while horrified townsfolk run for safety, forever scarred by the image of their loved one's skinless face screeching for help. Indeed, the polar bear is such a formidable killer that it cannot be brought down by a normal assault rifle or a handgun. Residents of the Arctic take high-powered rifles with them wherever they go, for only a massive hunting rifle has the power to crush through the bear's thick skull, and only then if you see it before it sees you. The most amazing thing about polar bears is how adult males will eat cubs of their own species that don't belong to them. Even as the polar bear teeters on the edge of extinction, the brutal facts of life in the Arctic mean this huggable baby cub will only be seen as future competition to any male which turns his gaze upon it. And one day when he grows up, the Toronto Zoo's little cub will be a remorseless killer too. Aww. Dog Training Day. Bad canine cop turns in gun and badge. Take a look at this and tell me what you see. If you said German Shepherd, you'd be wrong. It's a Belgian Malinois. The same breed is this two-year-old pooch named Cash who was fired from the Cannon Beach PD back in October. Belgian Malinoises are the preferred police dogs for sniffing drugs and biting perps. But throughout training, Cash the canine consistently fell behind the pack. He was afraid of heights. He was afraid of loud noises. And instead of sniffing drugs like a proper police dog, he just barked like crazy. In the end, Cash was kicked out of the police dog academy. But hey, no badge also means no heartbreaking death scene where you take a bullet for your comedically mismatched partner. Geotagging Bobcat leads to discovery of two newborn kittens. Aww, aren't they just the cutest? These little bobcat kittens were born last month in California's Santa Monica Mountains, where biologist Joanne Moriarty and her team of National Park Service researchers had been tracking their mother's GPS caller through the spring. 
Using a GoPro to capture footage of a spot she was frequenting, they found the two male kittens nuzzling together in a wood rat nest. The little ones, now affectionately known as Bobcat B340 and B341, were then tagged, measured, and returned to their cozy nest. By studying their diets and behaviors, the researchers' findings will aid a continued effort to help protect wildlife habitats in the area. The scientists also set up a camera in the den to watch out for mom's return. When she got back, though, the little cat pack's stay was short-lived, and they soon moved out of the den, much to the delight of the original occupant of the nest, a wood rat. Vermont police dog gets a deserved break from sniffing out drugs and corpses. It's nice to see a police dog having some fun, no? Canine or military dogs are, depending on your point of view, noble animals helping to save human lives, or unwitting stooges of the man, who happily sniff out your stash without the foggiest idea they're ruining your day or maybe life. But even cat supremacists are likely glad we have these loyal pooches to help sniff out bombs and help raid suspected terrorist sites. They even keep soldiers company on skydives. It's just a bummer they're also so good at sniffing out your container load of smuggled cigarettes. And of course, when the cop says, sir, we're bringing in a canine unit, <laughs> you know you're pretty much busted, dude. So we're pleased to see this car wash loving canine half of this canine unit enjoying some off-duty doggy fun. Canine officer Max is part of the Vermont State Police and he's getting a bit of fame for his adorable antics during a squad car wash. But what's your take on canines? Adorable or no, do you think dogs should be used as cops? Good morning, BB. Breakfast time. Baby Hedgehog submits adorably to forced bath time.
Photo of seahorse grabbing a hold of cotton swab goes viral. The increasing amount of pollution, especially plastic pollution threatening sea life around Indonesia, became painfully apparent when a photo of a seahorse went viral. Justin Hoffman, an American photographer and activist for US-based environmental conservation group Sea Legacy, was snorkeling recently in Sumbawa Island when he snapped this photo. The image features an adorable seahorse swimming along with none other than a dirty cotton swab in its grasp. In his post of the photo on Instagram, Hoffman expressed his worry about the future of marine life and how our actions will shape the planet we live in. Eight researchers from seven universities and institutions in the U.S. have found that China is the biggest contributor of mismanaged plastic waste in the world, with 8.82 million metric tons being produced annually. Indonesia creates 3.22 million metric tons of plastic waste, while the Philippines produces 1.88 million metric tons. As plastic is not biodegradable, it breaks up into tiny pieces in the ocean, where it is then consumed by fish and other sea creatures. The chemicals contained within plastics are also released into the water and the atmosphere. The Ellen MacArthur Foundation and the World Economic Forum report that by the year 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in the ocean. Are you scared now? Cute animals and hot zookeepers make viral Facebook videos. The animals at Symbia Wildlife Park in Helensburg, New South Wales, Australia have a lot of fun. And it could be due to their hot zookeepers. Recently, the zoo introduced a new joey emerging from its kangaroo mother's pouch in a short 30-second clip. The adorable video has been viewed over 66,000 times. And it's no wonder the young wallaby is so curious. In another video posted a few days before, orphaned koala Joey Harry was featured rolling around, literally, with zookeeper Tammy. And let's just say Tammy isn't the average zookeeper. Harry and Tammy's video has been viewed almost 500,000 times. While Harry is adorable, Tammy also got her minute of fame. One person commented, I want to play date with Harry and then go get drinks with Tammy. Hey, girl. Another said, Aw, I'd love to play date with Tammy, too. Someone else replied, How does one go on a play date with Tammy? To which another person replied, I was thinking the exact same thing. She is gorgeous. But Tammy isn't the only good-looking keeper at Symbio. There's also Elizabeth, seen here with an equally fierce snake. Keeper Ash, adorably enjoying an afternoon with an Australian dingo. And many, many others. Maybe it's in the water, but the creatures that roam Symbio seem ripe for a Bravo reality TV series. You got a friend in me. A baby beaver rescued by a Canadian conservation center in 2016, who later gained internet fame as the lonely beaver, has found a friend and is lonely no more. The five-week-old baby beaver was found alone on a golf course in northwest Calgary with wounds on her tail. The beaver kit was admitted to the Alberta Institute for Wildlife Conservation so it could recover. And that's where she's been since. Aw, isn't she adorable? Noticing the female rodent was all alone, netizens quickly nicknamed her the Lonely Beaver. But it seems things are about to change for the better. Earlier this year, a two-year-old male beaver was admitted to the conservation center after he was found in a storm drain with a bite wound on his lower back. Beavers live better when they have a companion, so the conservation center decided to introduce the two to each other. According to their handlers, the two are now best friends. And since they haven't reached breeding age, their relationship is purely platonic, uh, for now. These two adorable beavers will be released together in June 2018. Since caring for wildlife is generally expensive, the conservation center has set up a GoFundMe page for the pair's medical costs, which are expected to amount to $23,000.